Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Jeff, Air Maddox, back with another pipe tobacco review. And today I will be reviewing another Watch City Cigar Blend, and that is Waltham Broken Cake. Now this is supposed to be a replacement for an older blend that Watch City Cigars made, and that is Watch City Slices. That was a basically a burly blend with some red Virginia and a rum topping. I really liked that one at first, but once the rum topping evaporated, which was pretty quick, it uh, didn't really have that tangy tart flavor that, uh, that went good with the burly. It just, I don't know what happened there. Uh, it, uh, I kind of lost interest in that one, but uh, I figured this one would be another good burly to try out and it is in the similar vein, but not quite. So it is still a burly based tobacco, but this time it has some Kentucky fire cured, some air cured burly and some bright Virginia as well as a rum and chocolate topping. It is a broken cake. I'll show you a picture of it here instead of showing you. I don't know how well you can see in the tin. So it's like a cake that's all uh, kind of broken in chunks. And uh, the smell is kind of a little bit nutty, a little bit uh, cocoa and molasses, as well as there's a slight, slight, slight barbecue smell to it. At first when I got it, I didn't think it really, I couldn't really smell the dark fired but after smoking some other burleys and then trying this, uh, I could, yeah, then I could, I could detect it once I had something to contrast it to. I have it loaded up in my hardwood poker. I really like this. I was wondering how a hardwood uh, type of pipe would smoke because usually it's briar, right? So I figured maybe wood uh, wouldn't really taste as good, but it's, it's been great. I really, really like it. So let's light up and see what we're tasting. The last, the last burly blend that I tried from Watch City Cigars was the American Cut Plug. And th this one is definitely a step above that. The American Cut Plug, it would be something a little bit lighter, um, more sweet and, and traditional type of codger burly where this is more on the, the fuller side for sure. First thing that uh, that jumped out at me was uh, kind of a dark walnut, walnut. Uh, you know the bit that the shell of a walnut. You kind of get a little bit of that bitterness, but in a good way. And then there's almost like a sweet white burly kind of uh, in the background that comes and goes. But mostly uh, peanut and walnut type of tastes. The dark fired is there, but it's not that kind of uh, mesquite dark fired that you would get in, say, one of the twists from McBaron. It's more of that floral uh, kind of a slight barbecue taste, but it's it's really mild, and it's it's a secondary player in in this blend. It just adds a little bit of depth and uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of strength. This is going really good with with my coffee right now. Most burlies always go great in a cob and great with a coffee. This one would actually, for me, it would be a good morning smoke. Uh, I, I like the fuller flavored tobaccos. I'm actually the opposite of most people. My first smoke of the day, I like to be maybe even when it comes to cigars, would be like a strong, nice punchy, punchy flavor, and then maybe in the evening uh, go a little bit sweeter and a little bit lighter, actually. So it is, uh, there's a little bit of sweetness there. I know there's chocolate and rum, but I do not get any of the rum. Maybe at first when it was fresh and a little bit moist, but it evaporated quick. Like this uh, tin uh, that I've jarred up here is, uh, it's, it's pretty dry and crumbly already. Like that rum evaporated really quick. And I'm not really getting as much chocolate. What I am getting more of is uh, brown sugar and molasses. A little bit on the darker side though it's not it's not really bright and sweet like a white burly say like uh, sir walter raleigh or something like that this is more uh say m4 burly ish v very true v like, like uh paladin piper said there's a lot of blends lately that have been coming out in this kind of vein with that little bit of dark fire that's kind of got those darker deeper richer burly type of profiles that's what this is like so if you can't get enough of, of those kind of tobaccos then uh, i imagine you would like this The 
only problem I have is certain tobaccos, especially I find the Sutliff sourced, uh, Sutliff sourced tobaccos, like which I think this is based off of. I find that for some reason they start off really good, really flavorful, and then halfway through, uh, I think there's just a chemical reaction, and I just start losing the flavor. I don't get that punch that I did at first. Whereas some other ones, especially Cornell and Deal, like I had Burley Flake number two the other day, and it actually started out you know fairly you know it's a strong blend to begin with but you know average and then it started building up in flavor as I went down so I that's one thing that I that I find really frustrating about some of these some of these really good blended tobaccos is that it just fades away on me and I just start puffing more and more and then I lose more and more flavor this is kind of like that but it starts out strong enough that even when it does kind of lose its flavor you're still tasting it So if you really like the, the lighter stuff and the more codgery type of burlies, this might be a little bit edgy for you. But if you can't get it, uh, enough of the more deeper, richer, fuller type of uh, burlies with a little bit of dark fired in it. And you don't, uh, and you're not plagued with that, you know, fade away uh, from your, you know, that fade away uh, thing that goes on, then I'm sure that you, this is a high quality, really great uh, blend, blended by Ernie Q from Watch City Cigars. So if any of you guys tried it, uh, it's fairly, uh, I think it's been out for a year or so. So I'm sure some of you guys have tried it. If you have, let me know what you think of it in the, in the comments below. And I'll leave it at that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. So